first, some physics. White light consists of all colors. When white light hits an object, it interacts with the electrons of that object, and its vibrations project or reflect light outward and also absorb light. So, some colors are absorbed by the object, and some colors are reflected outwardly. The color reflected outwardly is the color that we then see or perceive. Let's go to the Word of God. In Numbers 15, verses 38 through 39, we find that we are to wear a strand of blue to remind us to keep God's commandments, to do them. Blue equals do God's commandments. Numbers 15. Speak to the people of Israel and tell them to make tassels on the corners of their garments throughout their generations and to put a cord of blue on the tassel of each corner. And it shall be a tassel for you to look at and remember all the commandments of Yahweh, to do them, not to follow after your own heart and your own eyes, which you are inclined to whore after. So symbolically, blue is associated with the remembering or act of doing the law of God, the Torah, to do them. Gold equals loving God's commandments. In Psalm 19 and Psalm 119, we find that gold is associated with God's commandments. Psalm 19, more to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Psalm 119, verse 72. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Psalm 119, 127. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, above fine gold. Likewise, in Revelation chapter 3, verse 18, we are counseled to buy gold from Yahweh that has been refined in the fire. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments, so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen, and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see. In Revelation 21:21, 21, 21, we find that in the end, we will walk on streets of gold. Revelation 21. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gate made of a single pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. Is this speaking in only a literal sense? Or does this mean something? What would be the significance of walking on streets of gold? Hang with us for a moment, because this is where it starts to become interesting. Gold or the color yellow, is often referred to as negative blue light. Gold reflects all colors with the exception of blue. It absorbs or retains blue. Gold keeps all blue inside of itself. Gold does not reflect any blue wavelength. So let's apply what physics and science knows, along with the symbolism of these colors in Scripture. If gold retains blue, or keeps all of the blue inside of itself, and blue stands for the remembering or doing of God's commandments, then Yahweh requesting us to be like gold refined in the fire is to have the remembrance of the Torah inside of us. Or to put it another way, to have the law of God written on our heart. This should sound rather familiar. Jeremiah chapter 31. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares Yahweh. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Putting the law within us, or the writing of the law on our heart, is the remembrance of the law inside of us. Symbolically, it is the blue, the remembrance of the Torah, that stays in us. Thus, we become like gold refined in the fire. To learn the commandments, to hear them, to have them in our heart. So, gold is the Torah inside of us, or the hearing of the law of God. Blue reflects the color blue, and blue absorbs gold, the yellow light. And blue is the obey and do of the law of God. So, yellow is to hear the law of God, and blue is the doing of the law of God. To hear and obey is known as the Shema in Hebrew, which is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our God, Yahweh is one. You shall love Yahweh your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your might. 
And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. So it is important to become like gold, meaning to write the law of God on our heart. And likewise, it is also important to be like blue, outwardly, like seat seats, and reflect the same law of God outwardly to others by doing the law of God. Both colors, yellow and blue, play a critical, symbolic role in helping us to understand the purpose of the law of God. One part of the law of God, the Torah, is to transform us inwardly, the gold. And the other is to reflect the law of God to others as an example for others to see, as the blue. If gold is the retaining of the law of God inside of us, and blue is the doing of the law of God outwardly, guess what happens when we mix both blue and yellow light frequencies together? Together, they become perfect, brilliant white light. The Shema, or to hear and obey, is the perfect white light of our Creator. It is His righteousness that we become, inside and out. And now you know why white light is used so often in the Bible, to illustrate this perfection. This is why in the context of telling us to buy gold from Yahweh, that He makes mention of clothing ourselves in white garments. Revelation chapter 3 I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire, so that you may be rich and white garments, so that you may clothe yourself and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen. The white garments, from a physics perspective, is both gold and blue mixed together. If we truly have the law of God inwardly, as gold if you will, then we would naturally want to do the law of God, as blue if you will, making us become clothed in white. Spiritually and symbolically speaking, this is the hearing and doing of the law of God. This is why James said what he said in chapter 1 verse 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. We are not to just be gold inward, but also blue outward. And in that, we are then clothed in white garments of the word of God, so that we will not be found naked and ashamed. So when Psalm 119 associates gold with the commandments of God, this should all make much more sense. Not only is gold rare, beautiful, and precious, just like God's commandments and His instructions should be to us as well, but it also retains all the wavelengths of blue, which is God's commandments, His Torah, to do them. When Revelation chapter 3 verse 18 says to buy refined gold from Yahweh, that means we are to buy His commandments. When Revelation 21.21 says that we will walk on streets of gold for the eternity in the New Jerusalem, that symbolically means that our hearts are permanently transformed to only have the law of God inside of us and no longer the law of sin or the flesh nature. Our desire for eternity will be to follow His Torah. The streets of gold are symbolically the streets of Torah. We will be walking in His Torah for all eternity. And all of this is realized through the wearing of the thread of blue in Numbers 15, detailing to us that the color of blue is the act of doing His commandments. So, if you claim to be a believer, and you do not like all of God's commandments now, remember, the goal in the end is that we'll be walking in them perfectly for eternity. So perhaps we should learn to love God's commandments. We hope that this teaching has blessed you.